huge believer in finding the right path for you. And when you seek out and find the right path, things will start to click. Okay. And so like, yeah, I got a, <laughs> I got a ladder for painting off the side of the road on my way to go paint at a house. Um, you know, everything that I need flows towards me in increasing regularity and abundance. My name is Azalea and you're watching my YouTube channel, Way Crunchy. Welcome to episode 14 of this old shack. If you can't tell, I got daddy's old truck again today. We're going to haul another load of garbage. Here's my partner. It's John. That's me. All right, we done loaded and hauled all that old decomposing wood out of that shed that we cleaned out the other day and now it is on to the last of the disgusting upholstered furniture that was left behind in this house john's trying to get it apart because oh boy it's just so heavy hard to get in this house i didn't keep my own toolbox but then it seemed I needed a toolbox, so I haven't showed y'all yet. It's really cute. That's my toolbox. I painted it. Kitties, strawberries, little swirls on the front. I love it. Make it pretty if you can. That's my motto. John, can you make a statement on just how vexing this <laughs> thing is? Well, it's held together by that. 7,000 screws and pins and nails and bolts. I mean, I feel like there was some kind of an electronic element to this thing at one point. It's like a double recliner love seat. No, it's so terrible. It's so heavy, y'all. I'll be so happy when it's out of our lives forever. Y'all, he finally broke it in half. <laughs> I swear, this whole house, this whole fixer upper is just tiny little mountains. And you keep climbing them until you get over that one little mountain. Today, this love seat has been one of the little mountains. But now we're over it. And we never have to climb that mountain again. Forward. Put this little bit of stuff in. Okay. We're driving to the dump with our last load of the day. These godforsaken, just probably mold filled, nasty, all heavy, heavy reclining love seats. Do you think yellow is a secret and depressing color? You know, recently someone did tell me that yellow, I was talking about maybe painting the house yellow, and they were like, it's a tricky color. It looks happy, but it's really depressing. It tricks you. Oh my God. I want to take a bath and watch probably my so-called life or star or star. 
You don't like when I say call of life? It's so good. It's um, inspirational. It's deep. It stands the sands of time and is as relevant to me today as it was when it was released when I was a teenager. What was that? Is that smelled gas station tater wedges wafting through the window. I'm hungry. Well, we've got a truck again here for another day, but we're not moving stuff out of the Pixar Upper because we about done did that. Um, but when my boyfriend moved here from Washington, D.C., he got a storage unit because obviously I live in a tiny barn and, and, you know, he has an apartment full of stuff. It's over here in the storage unit and we haven't dealt with that at all. But of course, we're going to eliminate rent of the barn eventually when we move into the fixer upper and also the rent of his storage unit. So today we're just going to dip that toe in to start sorting through this stuff. And we've got the truck if we want to haul anything to the dump or over to the new house or anything like that. What? John's having fun looking through his things. Like this uh, smoking jacket. Mm -hmm. You know, I used to wear this sometimes and smoke a pipe. Oh, okay. Yeah, true story. <laughs> All right, y'all. Well, that's the end of another weekend, and here we are on to the weekdays where I kind of spend the day over here either by myself or with my son, and we're back here at the Fixer Upper. It's just me today. It's morning time, my favorite time, but after I dropped my little daughter off at school, y'all are not going to believe what I found on the side of the road. Like, y'all know I need, I always aim to get all of my supplies dirt cheap or free. Y'all not gonna believe what I got off the side of the road, y'all. Y'all, I got a ladder for painting. It's totally metal and perfect. Uh, I can't believe I got this off the side of the road today. <laughs> I'm a huge believer in finding the right path for you. And when you seek out and find the right path, things will start to click. Okay, and so like, yeah, I got, a, I got a ladder for painting off the side of the road on my way to go paint at a house. Um, you know, everything that I need flows towards me in increasing regularity and abundance. So that's an example of a mantra or an affirmation. Everything I need flows to me in increasing regularity and abundance. So yeah, find your right path and things will start to click. All right, so I am up here in the upstairs bedroom, which will one day be my children's bedroom. And uh, I worked. I worked really hard on, basically all I did last week was work on the closet and learning how for the first time in my life to repair plaster. So I was repairing plaster, I was removing wallpaper, I was painting over there in that closet all last week. So I essentially finished that. It needs a paint job and then, you know, cleaning and oil in those wood shelves in that closet. But up here today, um, I think I'm gonna paint the ceiling. I think I'm gonna go ahead and paint the ceiling today. God, this room is coming. It's a beautiful color.
That's why I got work clothes. lovely sky blue color up on the ceiling like I love it I love it so much this was nine dollar discount paint I got from Lowe's it's a pretty high quality paint plus primer Valspar situation but like this is a perfect color this is a perfect color essentially gifted to me by the powers that be I love it I love it so much I am jazz on the ceiling all right, now I'm gonna do the other side. Now I got that one little white spot over there and that's the ceiling patch I'm working on. And I'm not gonna paint over that today because I'm still working on getting that the best that I can get it. Time to do all this. Other side of the room. the ceiling y'all we got a ceiling we got a painted ceiling up in here let's see I use half a gallon half a gallon to do the ceiling and then I guess I'll use this color on the molding around the top um, I got half a gallon maybe I should just paint the whole closet light blue I need to lease a little bit for touch-ups, you know, as we have like electricians and different things. I need to have, I need to have backup paint for if other stuff happens to mess with what I've got up here. So maybe not the whole closet because I want to leave paint. I mean, I definitely should do the ceiling of the closet because it's ceiling and the ceiling is this color. Maybe the ceiling and the trim maybe yeah maybe the window frames the door frame the molding yes isn't this beautiful i love i love paint like i paint pictures i paint houses so i talked a little bit on the last video about like what do i do what's my job how do i live um, so I have a partner, John, who goes 50-50 and on this house with me and we live together. He goes 50-50 on expenses at the barn. Um, but we just do straight 50-50 and then I homeschool my son. I care for my children. I run Way Crunchy, which is moderately profitable, <laughs> but a passion project. It's what I do. I create. Um, and then, you know, I do art on the side and like I wrote a book, you know, stories and art and pictures, which 
is essentially what the fixer upper is. I'm giving y'all the story of the fixer upper and it's a work of art. Um, so stories and art and caregiving and fixing, that's what I do. sort of the only thing I don't want to get paint splatters on which you are definitely going to splatter when you're using a roller um, is these wood shelves now I decided to keep the natural wood and I'm gonna clean it and I'm gonna oil it and it's just really beautiful let me show you I got the flashlight on here you can't see that good but you know it's got these knots it's sanded so smooth this is just gonna be so pretty just clean and old so in the meantime, to prevent these splatters, I'm just gonna take garbage bags. Now this is not a waste, because after you take them back up, you just use them as garbage bags. So it doesn't matter if your garbage bags have splatters on them, but it's just something quick and easy to put down on top of this wood when I go in with the roller here. Now, I'm gonna go back in with my little trim brush, you know, but I'm gonna get kind of the bulk of the space with the roller. So I might tape the edge of the cabinet, and cabinets, shelves. I might tape the edge of the shelves, like once I get back in there close, but for this like rolling segment of the day, it doesn't have to be perfect in here, y'all. I just wanna cover up the wood. this part too. I'm going to keep that wood. All right, so this is what the garbage bag protection looks like while I go in there with the roller so I don't ruin that wood with all the paint spots. The splatters, gotta protect that. Now that I've committed to keeping it wood, gotta protect it. Y'all, y'all, I definitely just dropped my glasses in the paint rolling tray. I got a spare pair of glasses downstairs. But I don't wanna get paint all on those today. All right, so I'm gonna take these home and get the paint off of them, but it's wet. I can't put that in my hair right now. So I'm just gonna be painting blurry for a little bit today. whether you're painting pictures or painting houses. So look at the blue ceiling and look at the blue in the closet. That little peak of blue, a peak of blue. All right, so the blue ceiling and the blue closet. I love the idea of the closet in blue because it's tying the room together and that little peak of blue, of blue is really ringing my bell. I love it. Y'all, this is coming.
almost completely finished that closet. <sighs> Feeling very good about our progress here today. If you want to check out over on Patreon, one of the extras I loaded for patrons is the drawings, um, the design plan for each and every room that I've drawn up that show us a glimpse into the future, a glimpse into my mind, um, what John and I are working from to make future plans. All those little extras over there on Patreon. All right, love you guys. See you next time.